Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is a little bag we're making today. I think it's super cute. So let's get started. Supplies you're going to need. You're going to need your piece of cherry cobbler cardstock, and this measures 11 and a half inches by five and a half inches. And then you're going to need two pieces of the wrapped and play designer series paper, and this may these measure three and three quarter inches square. And then I've got one of these um, Jingle All The Way Memory More cards from the night before Christmas. Okay, and then you're also going to need two strips of the wrapped and played designer series paper, which are those. And these measure just, um, yeah, about a centimetre or just over a centimetre um, wide. And they're the full length of the designer series paper, so those are six inches. Okay, so let's get started. All the measurements will be on my blog, on the blog post that goes with this video. So on the long side, so this is the 11 and a half inch side, we're going to score at four inches, and then we're going to score at five and a half inches. And then again at nine and a half inches, and then again at eleven. Whoopsie daisy, eleven inches. And then we're going to twist it round to the short side, and we're going to score at one and a half inches all the way down, just like that. Okay. So that's our scoring done. So let's get rid of our scoreboard. Okay, and now I'm just going to fold on all of my score lines. So just let me get my bone folder. Here we go. So we're just going to fold, as I said, on all these score lines. Okay, I want a nice crisp fold. And then this last long one here, I'm just going to fold, lovely. Okay, so now with the bag with the small little edge here, we're going to remove this tiny little tab that you can see there. Okay, and we're just going to angle cut or mitre that little tab there. Okay, and now we're just going to cut up to the score line for all of these tabs at the base so that we can separate them. Okay, so that's done. So let's get rid of these little bits. Now, before I make the box, I'm actually going to add my designer series paper because I find it easier. So let me get myself out some snail. Okay, here we go. Just got some snail. And this paper is not directional, so you can't make a boo boo. And we're just going to put it on the big squares, obviously. Because that's the only place that fit. Okay, and another one here. Lovely. So now we're going to add some tear and tape to our tab here. Okay, and now if you see, this is the way our box is going to go together. So this is going to be the front. So you can see there, the seams on the back, this will be our front, so we need some tear and tape here as well. I'm going to put a few strips because I want the box to hold. I don't want to give this away and find everything falling up the bottom, because that would be most embarrassing. Okay, 
Now, as I've said many times before, tear and tape, like all double sided tape, is a pressure adhesive. So give it a good burnish, and this will make it stick better, and it'll make it also much easier to get the backings off. Okay, so take the backing off there and just fold it round and line it up like that. Now you're going to fold your insides, your small short, short tabs, and then you're going to fold that over the top. So now we can take backings off these pieces here. And if you see any of your tear and tape like here is sticking out the edges, just use your finger, tuck it back in. No harm done. So I'm going to stick that down. So there we go. As you can see, there's our bag, all done. Okay, that's the back there. So let's get rid of our bits of tear and tape. Now we're just going to add our strips, and for this, I just used some Tombow, and they're just going to sit in here like that so I'm just going to add a little bit of Tombow to either end here okay and I'm just going to eyeball where I put it which will be roughly around there and then just curve it round and stick it back in the other side and try to get it roughly as even as you can Okay, just like that. Okay, so let's do the next, the last one. A little bit of Tombow at heat end. And then, same thing as before. Eyeball where you want it to go. Being sure it's roughly level inside with the one you did before. So there you don't you don't want a handbag with varying you want these to be the same height. You don't want to have one higher than the other because that would look that would look a bit weird, wouldn't it? Okay, what do you think? Not too bad. Okay. So finishing touches, make sure you've got the back to the back. So that is. Now we're going to use our memory and more card, and as you can see it's a bit too big. So I'm just going to get my trimmer out. This is the old trimmer, which I'm continuing to use a bit because I've still got some blades for it. So um, I'm using it here at my filming desk so that I have space, you know. So that should be enough, actually. Um, three and three quarters by three and three. Let's just do it a bit less. Cut off a little bit more off the base as well. About the same. And then you can see this fits nicely on the front of our bag. So I'm just going to stick it down for now for some Tombow because that's exactly what's in my hands. Okay. Now this is directional, so make sure you get it the right way around because you don't want it upside down. And I promise you, I've done that more times than I've had hot dinners. <laughs> okay, and finishing touches. I'm going to be using the holiday rhinestones, and I'm going to put a couple here and there. So. Let's see where we want to put one. Put one there. And maybe one down there. Maybe one up there. So we've still got our little triangle for design. Okay. So now you can use just some you can just put in some crinkle paper. I don't have any more here, but you can put in some like that and then put your little chocolates in and there you go. So 
two different patterns which do you like better I like them both I think they're really cute thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you want any information about the project it'll be on the blog post that goes with this video and the links to my website and my social media links are in the description box below so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye